All right, so we're supposed to go to the pub or cafe or tavern, however you want to call it, but I just want to have a look around this place first. So, run. So we came from that direction. So that way and then that way is where the tavern was, I think. So let's go here. <laughs> hmm. He's talking on his mobile. Impossible! I don't believe it! He forgot to leave it open again! The gate, you mean? Can I go up the stairs? <coughs> I can! More people! This is a pretty little town. I thought it was a bit of a ghost town. It, it is, but it looks prettier from this side, at least. What is that? Is that... That looks awesome. Now I want to go on there. I hope we get to go on there. I don't like that new waitress working in the tavern at all. Oh, you mean Steiner's granddaughter? It's kicking off near the town hall. This, I guess, they're talking about. This must be town hall protesters. Are they for or against the you call ban? Which is uh, what I'm assuming the protest is about. When they shut the funicular down this morning, it created chaos. I'm sure it did. Now I also understand why there's Kraken everywhere. It's the town legend slash monster. No, no you go in Balsam more. The, the shopkeepers can't take, take it anymore. anymore. The, the shopkeepers, shopkeepers are on strike. strike. There have been ten thefts from my shop since those seven is showed up. Mr. Mayor, who's gonna pay? Mr. Mayor, do your job and come out onto the balcony. The voters want to talk to you. The nomads are stealing our merchandise and our customers. The yukos don't belong in Valsambor. The shopkeepers have had enough. Thieving yukos in Valsambor. The shopkeepers want them out the door. Thieving yukos in Valsambor. The shopkeepers want them out the door. Close the nomads' souk. Throw them all out or we'll stay on strike. There have been ten thefts from my shop since those seven is showed yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mayor, who's gonna pay? You're not a very Go tolerant outside. town, are you? Show yourself, Mr. Mayor. Yeah. The shopkeepers are on strike for the first time in ages. That's not good business for anyone, if you want my opinion. Thieving yukos in Valsambor! The shopkeepers want them out the door! Thieving yukos in Valsambor! The shopkeepers want them out the door! We're not leaving until you come outside to talk, Mr. Mayor! Ah, sounds like fun. I'm sure he's willing to talk to you reasonable people. And I assume this leads back to... Uh, come back. This way. Uh, like the junction where we went into the alley eventually. No? Shouldn't it? Everyone's been surly the last few months. Mm. Because of the yukol? Everything seems to be the yukol's fault. Looking for cigars or some hooch? I'm even cheaper than the nomads. No, thanks. Mm, something. It's pretty. I don't have any coins. Too bad. Yeah. But steal some from the shops that are closed. This is a fairly large town. I thought it would be smaller. Uh, in previous games, the towns were only just like one street. So this is pleasant. Should actually have a place to walk around in and get lost. <laughs> Living here is unbearable sometimes of late. Sometimes of late. The way they treat the nomads around here is terrible. Yeah. Do they steal? 
But even then, to ban a whole people because a few of them steal is not really fair, is it? Where am I? Oh, off screen. Didn't see me. Um, does this seem familiar at all? Not really. I am kind of lost. Wait. Yeah, this does seem familiar. This is where Steiner's shop is. Yeah, so I've walked all the way around. Good. I can still not thank Go you. Go speak with young Sarah. She could help you. Well, now I can talk to you like a normal person. When I want to thank you, I can't. Sarah. Oh, Sarah's. The there captain is just there, next to the fireplace. Oh, okay. So you didn't really want to speak to me. <clears throat> I knew this already. Captain Obo? What do you want? Hedge? Uh, oh, I, I don't know what that means, to be honest. Let's try it. I don't know what it means. I'm... May I sit down for a second? Go ahead. Well, I'm sorry to impose, but I actually really... You know, you kind of remind me of someone. The wife of the quartermaster that served on board the Crystal after the war. Do you realize he got married to the first cousin of the wife of a machinist? Okay. Oh, okay. That's all really <laughs> interesting. But what I wanted to ask... <laughs> That's a really great story. Really. Because did you know? So there. <laughs> so the guy answers, I don't know nothing, Captain. Turns out he was hiding in the broom closet. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Irina, the wife of the quartermaster, her name was Irina Malevna. Crazy how much you look like her. Oh, gee, it's getting late. I have to go. You can finish telling me the story another time, Captain Obo. Well, that didn't get me anywhere. Sarah, any tips? You know the man better than I do. Where, where is she? I can't run in the in the cafe. Is everything okay, Kate? Not really. I'd like to ask Captain Obo if the Yukul caravan can go on board his boat to cross over to Baranur. But I can't get a straight answer. He's completely sloshed. I'm sorry, miss, but I really think you're wasting your time. He's getting drunk again to forget his crimes, like he always does. To forget he wasn't brave the way a captain should be. Can you believe it? In Baranor, he just picked up and abandoned his passengers. And I know, he'll never want to see that cursed place again. I'm not sure that's true, lad. Even if he does drink a lot, the captain's a pretty good guy. Say the right thing, and you may be able to convince him. If I'm ever lucky enough to find him sober, even for a moment, I need that drunkard to listen to me. Maybe I can help you with that. I'll make him one of my famous small restoratives. After that, he'll want to sleep for three days, but at least his mind will be clear. All right. Uh, any advice? You know the captain better than I do. What can you tell me that will help me to convince him? One thing's for sure. He definitely hates himself for abandoning all those people to their fate over there in Baranor. All of those men, women, and children that Grandfather's army of automatons was going to rescue and bring back on board the Crystal. He has the impression nobody here will ever forgive him, and... To be perfectly honest, he's not far wrong. Plus, he's also racked with guilt. So in my opinion, avoid criticizing him. All right. Uh, uh. Has Captain Obo taken the Crystal out of port since leaving Baranor? He's been far too drunk ever since then for that. And anyway, the port's been closed since the tragedy of Baranor 20 years ago. Do you think the Crystal is still in sailing condition after all this time? I'm sure there'll be a few repairs to do, but Obo never stopped keeping it in shape, you know. 
He loves his boat, despite everything. Mm, tragic. Uh... Who knows what became of the victims and automatons the captain abandoned? No, everybody hates the captain for that. But nobody volunteered to take the helm of the crystal in his place to pick up the survivors. If there are any left in Baron Ur, they're all dead now, that's for sure. Grandfather says that the automatons would have broken down really quickly with nobody to maintain them. Hmm, I'm going to guess that might not be entirely true, but... Do you know why Captain Obo fled Baranur? He must have been completely traumatized by what he saw there. The catastrophe, the victims, and then the radiation. He unloaded the automatons on the beach, but he didn't expect they'd bring the survivors back right then. He just cracked, completely snapped. Full astern and goodbye all. Can you even imagine? Afterwards, he came up with that story of a sea monster appearing and attacking his boat. Yes, the old legend of the monster of the lake. Convenient, isn't it? Go see the captain. Sarah will bring you the restorative when it's ready. All right, they had some interesting points. Actually, I never considered the fact that, you know, it's all on him and nobody else wanted to go save those people, so they can't blame him for their death. And also, why didn't the government send, like, military help or something? Take this, Captain. This one's on the house. <laughs> My God! This piss water unbattens the hatches, swabs the deck, <laughs> and opens the portholes. Hello, Miss. My name is Kate Walker, Captain Obo. We met each other earlier. To what do I owe the honor of your presence at the table of the regrettably famous Captain Obo? <clears throat> uh... This is good news, Captain. You're back at the starting block again. You have a new beginning, a new dawn. <laughs> now that's a good show of spirit, Miss Walker. What will you be having now? It's my round. Uh, ooh. I think the whole time needs him, really. So what? I'd rather you listen to me. You're my only hope of finding a solution to my problem. <laughs> Do tell me about it, please, miss. Because the Yukels and their ostriches are stuck here in Valsumbur, it's causing a serious problem among the people in your community. Plus, the nomads have to continue their great journey. Only you, Captain Obo, can defuse the situation by taking them on board the crystal. You're very wrong, Miss Walker. Everybody will tell you that I'm incapable of giving a hand to anyone. Uh, well, they are kind of idiots. It's true, people are quick to judge. But they're not the ones who went to Baranor like you did. They can't teach you anything about being brave. Hmm, maybe. So tell me, where do you actually want to go then, Miss? Oh, he looks so nice. I like his eyes. Uh, yeah, you're not going to like it. I'll just, uh... I'm listening... Yeah. To Baranor. <laughs> I'm a broken man because of what I saw back there that night, miss. A sad wreck of a man, really. And you're asking me to go back. <laughs> back there. Back to hell. Face your demons. I saw the hellish red eyes of the monster of the lake. Beast as big and long as my boat. Ask your Yukul friends what they think about it. They call it the Kilak. The evil spirit of the lake. The devil guarding the doorway to hell. Well, let's just look at it like a second chance. What do you say? No. Never. Really? Uh... Does he have pride? I don't know. In that case, I'll buy the crystal. What makes you think she's up for sale? You've left her in the port to rot. She's completely run down. You haven't the money to keep her shipshape. I have money, and I need that fairy. 
She's a fairy, not a liner. <laughs> the girl wants to take the helm of the crystal. Now I've heard everything. I know that if the proud crystal had an equally proud commander at her helm, things would go better. But as you don't want to go on a voyage... All right, all right. You can get your gang of little savages and board the crystal. I'll take you. Oh, thank you, Captain, really, with all my heart. And thank you on behalf of the Yukels. Oh, but be careful now, Captain Girl. You're not there yet. There are two conditions, and they are negotiable. First, we stop by Narodas. It's a little town just a bit south of Baranor. That will mean we avoid the most radioactive zones, but it won't actually take you too far off your path. And second, we also sail by day. I'm not going to finish up on the lake monster's plate. And it sleeps during the day. The beast is usually a bit of a night owl, anyway. I accept, Captain Obo. In that case, all hands on deck now, sailor. Because we've got work to do before we can hoist the anchor. All right. Come on, Kate. You hurry off and meet with the captain before he changes his mind. I'll go tell Grandfather to join you on board the Crystal with Kirk. Thank you, Sarah. That's cool. And his, um, uh, what do you call it? I've got another achievement. Uh, his conditions seemed um, reasonable and safe for everyone. Now I'm not quite sure where I'm meant to go. Uh, did he go to his boat? To his ship? Am I meant to go there too? Shall we go check? Uh, try to get. I noticed that the loading screen is fairly long compared to other games I own. Um, I don't see a captain. Did he not go to a ship? Mm. Maybe it's inside there. Oh. And there's no one here. I don't know. <laughs> this place is big. I suppose it's a ferry. Engine room, no. <clears throat> Upstairs. This seems to be where he would be. Ah. All right, Captain. How are the preparations going? There's quite a bit of work to do before we can hoist the anchor, Miss Kate. All right, can I help? Maybe I can help you out with something. Well, the coal needs to be stocked up. As for myself, I'll look after getting the water tanks ready to be filled. Take this. It's the code you need for entering the hangar where the coal is kept. You actually need it to use the crane to load the coal onto the crystal. Don't forget to open the storage hatchway first. Mm-hmm. How do I open the hatchway to the coal storage on the crystal? Just turn the wheel on the ship's bridge, sailor. Okay. What do I need to do in the hangar? That's where you'll find all the coal you need for the crystal. One container should just about be enough. And don't forget to use the entry code for the crane that I just gave you. Mm-hmm. What do I need the crane for? 
This here is for loading all the coal you get from the hangar onto the ship. Use the code I gave you so that you can access the control post. I'll take care of that, Captain. We need to set sail as soon as possible, so better hurry up. Uh, I don't know if I wasn't paying attention, but did he say where the hangar was? I'm not sure. We'll have to find it. Uh, Alright, let's check what we got. It's in our journal, isn't it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Read. Oh, really? doing this way slowly yeah run okay we need to open the hatch thing is that the thing we saw earlier is that the bridge i am unfortunately not too familiar with ship's terminology <sighs> Why does he keep turning around? All the way. All the way. This way. Okay. Um, no. There's nothing here for me. So I'm guessing this is not it. Isn't the bridge where, where, where I was? Where the, uh, damn, where the captain was? But then why didn't he say right here? Why did he say the bridge? Ah, is this it? Yeah, this is it. Voila. Perfect. Um, so that's opened. 